We're going to look at the nephrons function again and do kind of a more global view of what it does. So we just drew the anatomy of it. Let's draw a more simplified version of the anatomy. So when I say three major renal processes, these are what occur in the nephron because the nephron is the functional unit of the kidney. You can probably guess what these things are. We've got the afferent arterial again and the efferent arterial and the glomerulus. I'm going to draw our glomerular capsule again. And then instead of drawing the detailed anatomy of the nephron, I'm just gonna draw it as like a single long tube because that's what it really is, right? It's a, a long renal tubule um, that is made up of the nephron and then the collecting duct. So let's just draw it like that. This is our um, glomerular capsule. We've got our nephron renal tubule and then our collecting duct. So the three processes that are going to occur in this structure here, simplified in this image. One, what happens here? Illustration. We've already talked about this. So glomerular, glomerular, oh my gosh, filtration. Um, this is going to be the production of a cell and protein-free filtrate. So we're going to go from blood to filtrate. The difference between these two is going to be the filtrate is protein and cell free. It does not contain the proteins of human and red blood cells that are present in the, the blood. That's, it's a passive process that relies on um, those same transport mechanisms. So hydrostatic pressure versus osmotic pressure um, that allow for that filtration to occur. Then in the rest of that renal tubule, we've got two processes. One is, oops, sorry, this, this is called that two. It's step two. One of the two processes that occurs in the tubule is going to be reabsorption, tubular reabsorption. So this, as I said before, is taking stuff that was dumped into this tube and taking it back into the blood. Let me actually draw the blood that because remember this efferent arterial that's, that's here, where does that go after this? It wraps around either as the paratubular capillaries or the vasorecta. Um, so we can have reabsorption means that stuff's going back into the blood. Then number three, so I'll actually just add that here. Um, so from filtrate to blood. So this means we're going to keep a lot of water, um, various amounts of sodium and other electrolytes. We're also going to reabsorb a lot of glucose, actually all the glucose that is filtered. Number three is secretion. Secretion is from the blood back into the renal tubule. This occurs to less stuff. Um, so it's selectively moving substances from the blood to the filtrate. So additional wastes, for example. So the mechanism, the idea of the kidney is taking the entire blood supply and dumping it in the trash. So it's like if I'm cleaning my kid's room and instead of trying to pick up the trash, I tell them to dump everything that's on the floor into the trash and then take out what you wanna keep. Let's really make sure we wanna keep that stuff. So that's the, what the kidney does. It dumps almost everything 
into the filtrate. The filtrate is all of the blood besides the proteins and cells. Then we want to reabsorb most of that, reabsorb. So about 99% of, of the filtrate is reabsorbed. May seem kind of inefficient, but um, it's a way to make sure we get rid of our wastes and it's a way to filter like all of our blood um, and make sure those wastes are, are getting removed. So 99% of what we put into this tube is being reabsorbed. We're gonna actually keep it. water, glucose, a lot of electrolytes. Um, we then also have this other process of secretion where we can regulate some additional things to, to go out. Um, that is the mechanism of the kidney. So let's do a learning check here where you can write down the four steps. I will tell you, so these three are the three that I just went through. This image here has the fourth, I'll, I'll tell you this fourth, how about, how about we do that? So for the learning check, you write down one, two, and three. Number four is part of reabsorption. What do you think this is referring to? Reabsorption of water is specifically water conservation. Um, so water being removed from the urine. This happens largely in the collecting duct. So that's why it can be thought of as kind of a separate um, process, but it is um, a mechanism, a type of reabsorption, conservation of water. These other three, I would like you to um, review. And this also is a nice image here where you can see the, the same thing I drew, but a little bit neater, where those paratubular capillaries are what the filtrate substances are being absorbed into or secreted out of. And now I've told you two of those answers.